behalf of Group Four, I would like to welcome you. I'm Hobbs. Today, I'm going to share some of our findings in the life cycle assessment of lithium ion battery for electric vehicles too, and hope you can understand a little bit more into the future industry and the potential risks that needs to be aware of in this journey. For our departure, the presentation is divided into four parts as our showings. Above all, some background knowledge of lithium ion battery and electric vehicles and their market share of potential will be introduced first. A lithium ion battery is mainly composed by five parts cathode, m dot, electrolytic separator, and case of shell. A lithium ion battery is an advanced battery technology that uses lithium ions as a key component of its electrochemistry. During the discharge cycle, lithium ions in the anode are ionized and separate from their electrons. The lithium ions move from the anode and pass through the electrolyte until they reach the cathode, where they recombine with their electrons and electrically neutralize. The lithium ions are small enough to be able to move through a micro panel separator between the anode and cathode. In part, because of lithium's small size, Lithium ion batteries are capable of having a very high voltage and charge storage per unit mass and unit volume. The goal of mitigating climate change, both national and international goals have been set to reduce anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. Globally, light duty vehicles are responsible for approximately 10% of energy use and greenhouse gas emissions. A study conducted commissioned by the World Business Council in 2014 for sustainable development estimated that the number of light duty vehicles in operation will rise from roughly 750 million currently to 2 billion by 2050. As shown in the figures on the slide, we can see that the global demand for new energy vehicles has been growing rapidly, according by a, accompanied by a relatively weaker growth in lithium ion battery output. As we all know, electric vehicles have no tailpipe emissions. Thus, electric vehicles will benefit the environment through its higher energy efficiency compared to internal combustion vehicle, and the possibility to decarbonize the electricity that powers themselves. However, the production of lithium ion battery, which is a unique energy storage component of electric vehicles, can induce considerable energy and environmental burdens. The overall energy and environmental performance of electric vehicles therefore largely depend on whether the impacts avoid during the use phase of electric vehicles, as opposed to the internal combustion vehicle outweigh the additional impacts resulting from process patient to a living non barrier production. Thus, in order to avoid problem shifting, and life cycle assessment should be applied in the environmental assessment of living non barrier traction battery which can be transcend different stages over time, over a lifetime of a product or service, and provide a holistic picture of its benefit and trade-offs. The goal of our project was to provide a transparent inventory for living ion battery based on primary and secondary data, and to report its cradle to gain impacts on the environment and human beings. By doing this project, not only can we have a better understanding of living ion battery industry, but we are also able to figure out which part of the process in the lithium battery life cycle can be improved to enhance its efficiency and reduce pollutions. The study was carried out as a process-based attributional life cycle assessment so that it can not only offer suggestions to the sustainable development of current lithium ion battery manufacturing technology for electric vehicles, but also give hints to the future research on lithium ion battery for electric vehicles. Now, let's move to the next session to discuss on the materials and methods that we apply in our study. Firstly, as it depicted in Figure 1, the system boundary of our study is from cradle to gate, which starts with extraction of raw materials and ends with production of battery pack before it leaves the gate of the factory. We can see in the figure in our study life cycle inventory. The green bolt frame boxes represent unit process, which are individual or aggregated operations that can be produced and intermediate or final product. 
whereas boxes with different colors represent distinct reference that we refer to when doing the calculations. Last but not least, we also use GRET model to modify to quantify the environmental impacts result from greenhouse gas emission and other gases in our study. Finally, the functional unit of our study is driving 100 km by electric vehicles powered by lithium ion battery. Let's come to the section of result and discussion. 2.1 and figure 2.2 show the estimate results of short-term and long-term environmental impact generated from various life cycle stages in the production of lithium ion battery performed by Semapro 2. The results show that most of the environmental impacts are generated from the unit process of producing the lithium ion battery, which contributes to nearly half the total impacts alone. Furthermore, the largest impact result from battery production process is mainly given by the primary energy consumption. The reason why producing lithium ion battery has such great impacts on the environment is that, apart from the pollutions generated during their manufacturing process, the components of lithium ion battery are nickel, cobalt, and manganese, which are heavy metals that have great threats to the environment. Second, battery pack housing also leaves great impacts on the environment too. A potential risk of this result is that the original mat material of the battery pack housing is PET, which is periphylene terephylene, which is the same as plastic bottles that we drink water. It is a product of petroleum and it also does harm to the environment. Figure 2 3.1 and figure 3.2 show the estimate result of short-term environmental impact given by different waving methods of inventories. Normalization of waving generated from various life cycle stages in the production of living ion battery performed by Simapro 2. The results also demonstrated that there are some differences in the damage assessment for short-term emissions and long-term emissions. Specifically speaking, the impacts of living ion battery on human toxicity, freshwater, and marine ecotoxicity are relatively larger when only taking short-term emissions into consideration. By using the methods of normalization and weighting to assign importance on different inventories in short-term scenarios LCI, Based on the estimated life cycle assessment results, we concluded that most of the environmental impacts are generated from the unit process of producing the living ion battery, regardless of which method we apply. Based on our analysis, we concluded that the optimal solution for reducing the harmful environmental impacts of the battery pack is to use clean energy supply for the production of living ion battery. Please allow me to offer some suggestions for future research or investigations based on the process and results of our LCA study. Our study found a number of impact categories highly sensitive to changes in the lifetime of living ion batteries. Therefore, we suggested that future research strive to characterize the changes in lifetime across different types of living ion batteries and further study on the environmental impacts result from the production of lithium ion battery for electric vehicle. Given that market for recovery and recycled material from lithium ion batteries is not well developed for large battery packs, further research on the eventual deposition of recovered and recycled materials would allow manufacturers, recyclers, and the scientific community to better understand the benefits and damage of current recycling technologies. Thus, we suggest that Future research dig into the eventual de deposition of recovered and recycled materials. Given the emerging te nanotechnology application of living ion batteries, and the fact that these technologies are currently undergoing com com commercializations, additional research on the materials should continue to be conducted to ensure that upstream impacts like energy use and toxicity do not outweigh benefits gained in the use stage by increased energy density. Moreover, since we are studying on the lithium ion batteries for electric vehicles, we strongly suggest future research to study on the entire life cycle of lithium ion battery in a cradle-to-grave system battery, 
we drew the life cycle inventory as shown in this slide. Thank you for your listening of our presentation. Hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.